All right, we're getting there. Uh, number 26. So 6 plus uh, x over 3. So keep in mind, I could do this as 6 plus 1 third x. All right, if I wanted to treat it as a fraction, I could totally do that. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to move the 6 over. There's different ways of solving it. 6 minus 6 is 0. They cancel. And so you get x divided by 3 is equal to negative 5. So to cancel the uh, division by 3, I just need to multiply both sides of the equation by 3. Or multiply the whole equation by 3. Whatever. Uh, the multiplying by 3 and the dividing by 3 cancel. And so I'm left with negative 15. 5 times 3. Or negative 5 times 3. Alright, number 27. I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to add 4 to cancel out the negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4 cancels, and so I'm left with x divided by 5 is equal to 7. And then you would multiply by 5 to cancel that out. So times by 5. 5's cancel, and 7 times 5 is 35. All right, number 28. Ooh. Uh, I think everything got switched over to the right-hand side, but that's okay. All right, uh, what I'm going to do here is move the 10 over. So I get negative 10 on the left, and that's equal to x divided by negative 2. All right, these canceled. And then to cancel out the dividing by negative 2, I need to multiply by negative 2. So multiply both sides by negative 2. Those cancel. And I get x is equal to positive 20. Because you had a negative 2 times a negative 10. Okay. On number 29, again, this little part right here, that is the same as 3 fourths x. All right? If you wanted to treat it that way, you can. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do on this one, of course, I could move the 9 over first and then tackle the fraction. I'm just going to multiply. I'm going to clear the denominator. I'm going to multiply the whole equation by 4. So 4 times the negative 4 will give me negative 16. Uh, the 4 and the division by 4 are going to cancel, so that's going to leave me with 3x. And then the 4 times the negative 9, that's going to leave me with negative 36. Okay. Uh, Two-step equation. We'll add 36 to both sides. Those cancel. We get 3x equals... Uh, negative 16 plus 36, that's the same as 36 minus 16, which is 20. All right, uh, divide by 3, divide by 3, and that's our answer. X is equal to 20 over 3. That does not simplify. Okay, uh, is this a new set? believe it is uh, or maybe it's not I'm not sure uh, I'll do one more I guess all right I'm gonna move my 8 over 8 minus 8 0 and I'm left with negative x over 2 uh, is equal to 1 so that negative there you know that that could either represent negative x over 2 or it could represent x over negative 2. It's really just uh, it's up to you, however you want to deal with it. So uh, to cancel this out, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 2. That's what I'm going to do. 
All right, the negative and negative cancel each other out, and then the two will cancel with the two in the bottom. So that'll leave me with x equals one times negative two, which is negative two. All right.